This one's going to be on this program called DSpotify. It's basically a console incurse interface for uh, Spotify clients. Now, I think you only need, well, you have to be a paying member. Um, I don't think you can use it with a free account. Okay. Uh, so let me gonna log in here, DSpotify. And the way that you connect, it says it right here, you know, you type in colon connect. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so type in my user and password. Let me disable the keys first. All right, so we're, we're connected now. And to get the high keys, there's a few ways. But you hit H and you have your high keys. Um, there's a few other ways, like I said. You can hit the question mark or you type in help or you hit F1, whatever you prefer. The high key is not really that much. All you really need to know is, um, you know, basically the search and uh, enter and, and that's about it. Or you can hit stop and pause. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Hit escape here. And to search, slash, and then you type in like Naruto or whatever artist you're looking for. And you just hit enter to play it. I have it muted so you, you're not going to hear shit, but it's playing, right? Uh, you want to search for another um, song or artist? You search for like Madonna. She had a concert today on YouTube. So, you can play the song. And that's pretty much uh, what you can do from this client here. Pretty cool. There is another... Um, they call it simple, so we're gonna check that one out too. So let's quit out of this. Colon Q. All right. All right. So D Spotify, and this one is uh, called simple. Now, when you do this, they want you to type in your password and, and uh, username in plain text, All right? So I don't really want to show you my password. So I made a what is that? My own alias for this. Let's see, ID spotted by me. My login. So basically, this is what it all looked like. Um, oops, let me do this here. There you go. Now we're logged in. So this is what it looked like when you log into Spotify dash simple. Uh, and basically, it's just like a command line, um, you know, where you type in your text and everything. So you want to search for something, you have to type in search and then the string. And you want to play something, you have to you know typing play and in the number so that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna type in the search and we'll search for was it Naruto and pretty much they give you like the same things just that it's not an end curse interface you know you still have your um what is that all your songs listing right here right and if you want to play it um you just type in play and you give it a number like uh I don't know 90 or something and I'll start playing it here right and that's pretty much it for that. I think this one is mainly for uh, remote connect and all that because they do have this other one called the Spotify Gateway. And you know, this is where you would um, connect to a IP address and, and a port, which I haven't tried, so I don't, I'm not really sure if, um, how great that is. But as far as the end curse interface, um, yeah, it's really good. But like I said, you have to be a paying member, and if you're a paying member, and you don't want to use their big bloated client. Um, yeah, I recommend you would want to use uh, D Spotify, right? But um, I, I don't, ha I don't have a paying account. I, I think they give you um, forty eight hours to try it out, um, unlimited. When you when you first sign up, I think that's what happened to me. And if you want to try it out, then go sign up, right? That'll be it for this one.